Good morning. Rudy and I are here at the Bear Lake Trailhead located inside the Rocky Mountain National Park. And today we're going to go for Flat Top Mountain. According to the Rocky Mountain National Park book, we're looking at about 4.4 miles out and probably right around a 2,900 foot elevation gain. It's a pretty serious hike. Hey, you probably can't see it. it's a little dark, but that's the new signage. Official start time, 7 a.m. After about 15 minutes worth of hiking, we've made it up to the first trail split. And it looks like we've got another new sign. We're up here to the next one. And I'm having deja vu. Because there's no longer a trail. We're going to have to cut it in. This is just like last time. We're getting up there. The snow conditions are a little worse than what I was wanting them to be. But we're doing it. We let some other people pass us so they could do all the hard work. And on the way by, they're like, oh man, we were hoping not to pass you. I'm like, I know, right? I'm just keeping my head down and I'm continuing to grind. This is gonna take a lot of effort today, but it's either now or never because the conditions aren't gonna get any better. I mean, we're December 18th right now, three days away from the solstice. And for those of you that don't know, that means it's the shortest day of the year, December 21st. We've made it up to the Dream Lake Overlook. I'm looking right into the sun, but that is an awesome view of Long's Peak. We were kind of hoping the snow would thin out the higher we go, but that's not happening. This is a beautiful day. It's pretty nice out here. We've got a little bit of a breeze, but so far it's not bad. And it's pretty much been like this for the past half mile. Just post holding up to my knees every other step. I almost gave up back there. I was post holding up to my hips and I was getting angry. And then Rudy guilt tripped me. So I have decided to continue on. We just checked the GPS. We're about 2.4 miles in and we were hoping it was gonna get a little better up here but it doesn't look like it.
we decide to go off the trail, we're trying to stay on the rocks as much as possible. But the snow is starting to thin out a little bit. The wind is picking up, but the snow is thinning out. We're taking a quick five minute break. We're about 2.7 miles into the hike. We're sitting here at about 11,300, which means we've got about another thousand vertical feet up to the summit. I'm not getting this close and giving up. It's gonna take a lot more than this to make me turn around, I can tell you that. up here to the hitch rack and my mouth is frozen. We're so close. We're gonna make it. We got it guys. We got it. Yeah, buddy. We did it. Nice. This was tough. This was really tough. And we did it summit of flat top mountain that's looking over at Hallett Peak and I don't think we're gonna get that today way too cold and windy that's looking out to notch top and snow drift peak way out there my mouth is a little frozen Look at Snow Drift Peak out there. All right, guys, we've been sitting up here on the summit for a few minutes, but it is cold and that wind is whipping. So it's time to go. It's time to head on back. We're on the way back down. in the trees, back in that really deep snow, 
because it means that we're going to be out of the wind. still doing a ton of post holing on the way down it's almost just as bad as on the way up we're back in the trees and out of the wind thank god that wind was terrible it's just now we got to deal with the deep snow Well, no less than eight people have been up this trail so far this morning, and I'm still post-holing. Oh my goodness. I must be the fattest guy up here. I cannot believe we came up all of this. Whoa. And I'm still post-holing. This was a heck of a hike. Post-holing makes me instantly angry. It's like when someone comes up and like punches you in the arm, you just get instantly pissed off. Same thing when I post-hole. I'm so glad we bagged this mountain today. I know I was 0 for 2 on my last two attempts. So was Rudy. He tried it twice in the winter and could not make it either time. I tried it earlier this year in the winter, on that first try, I blew my knee out on the way down and I was out for a month. And then on the second try, I left my camera at the Dream Lake Overlook, hiked up like another 400 feet, realized it was missing, and then had to run all the way back. And that kind of ruined that hike. And it is still a beautiful day. It was a little windy up there, but that is the Continental Divide too. So it's always gonna be windy. I think we're looking at about four tenths of a mile back to the trail split and then it should be pretty easy from that point back down to the trailhead but i cannot believe we came up all this stuff this is something all right guys we just hit the right hand turn at that last trail split we're looking at one mile down to the trailhead and this should be the best snow of the hike. We've seen a few people out here and everybody that we've seen either has micro spikes, snowshoes, or skis. However, we did the mountain without any of that stuff. All right, guys, and we're back to the Bear Lake Trailhead. It is just now 1.40 in the afternoon, so that means it took us two and a half hours to come down. It took us three hours and 55 minutes to summit, which is pretty good considering the conditions. All right, dude. Nice job. Boom. Got it. But I hope you enjoyed it. And until the next hike, y'all, peace.